Hey everyone, this is uh, our implementation of the week. It's actually something we did internally here at Zenata. So for our proposals, historically, we have been using um, the standard mail merge feature. And with this, you can really pretty much just have a standard word template and you can pull in various fields from the CRM by doing this. But we wanted something a little more. We wanted to be able to add various sections to our proposals so the proposal would be somewhat dynamic. In order to do this, what we're doing is we're using a program called Web Merge. Actually, it's form stack documents, it used to be called Web Merge. And we have put our proposal inside of Web Merge. So the way this looks like, I'll kind of show you this file here, is here is our standard uh, proposal template. And you know, you've got things, all these custom fields, start date, the account name, all of the various information. But where the, the, the cool part about this is, is we're able to dynamically add in sections. So you have a CRM section here, a desk section, forms, telephony, miscellaneous. We're basically just got a bunch of test sections in here, plus all of the other fields that we would normally pull in during uh, just a standard Zoho web merge, mail merge kind of a thing. But uh, the interesting part on this is we want to be able to actually on this deliverable section only put in the actual sections that people are interested in. So as you can see here, we've got CRM, desk, forms, and telephony. When I do this little test, I'm just going to do CRM and desk, and we'll show you how those pull in forms, telephony, and miscellaneous won't. Actually, I'll leave miscellaneous in. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of what this looks like. So how can we build this out? Well, we'll go over here and I've got this test deal going. And so uh, if I just go down here to our overall deliverable section, this is where I'm going to choose them. So I'm going to say I want CRM, uh, let's do telephony, and we'll do the miscellaneous. So just those three sections. So it's not going to show desk or forms. Um, and if you remember, we had desk and forms actually existed over here. So it's not going to show desk, not going to show forms. We just want to show these three sections because potentially that's what the client's interested in. So once you have your deal all set up, you've got all your basic information. In this case, you know, the start date, the end date, all of everything you want to fill on over there. You get all that in and you're just going to go up here and you're going to click web merge. This is really quickly going to open another window. I'm going to say merging the document. And as soon as the documents merge, it's going to say, great, I'm going to go ahead and close this window now. So what did it do with that document? Well, we actually had it drop it over here directly into Zoho Docs. So let me just go ahead and refresh this. This so under the proposal section, you can see it actually created a folder called Zanata. And under that, it actually put the document right here. So I can click right into it. And here's the overall document. So really nice. You can even go ahead and open it in Zoho Writer, which is what you would want to do. So we'll open this in Zoho Writer. So for us, now you can take a look at it, make sure that everything is uh, completely the way you want it. And as you can see, it dropped in CRM, it dropped in tele telephony, it dropped in miscellaneous, it left out those other two sections. You can then make your edits at this point in time. Uh, and since you're already here in Writer, you can go ahead and click this distribute button and go to the sign collection and just go ahead and send it to Zoho Sign for signature. So a pretty slick selection of allowing you to really dynamically upload this content. Uh, the ability in here on this template to put in graphics. I mean, each one of these sections could very well be its own page and really be blown out. So nice ability to create dynamic proposals, dynamic forms uh, directly from the CRM and pulling it in. Uh, Hopefully you found this useful. I know it's going to make our lives a whole lot easier.